Hello, lovelies. Well, I thought I'd come on today because I got inspired when I was driving home. I was listening to um, this YouTube clip of this lady who had died when she was younger and was able to see angels. And, uh, oh, it just really touched me uh, when she was talking about the angels and that when she died, they'd, uh, God had said to her she had to come back. And how uh, she was saying about the guardian angel absolutely loves each and every one of us so we all have a guardian angel and that guardian angel absolutely loves each and every one of us so much and when she was talk talking uh i really felt it in my heart and um honestly i i was um having uh, sort of remembrances of um connecting to my own angels and um and the spirit world and and all that beautiful love energy and it really made me feel really quite emotional actually when i was in that space and remembering uh being connected so much to the angels and to the spirit world and anyway it was like i got a message saying start doing online mediumship readings so I've come on board tonight to actually do this. So normally when I do a mediumship reading, a one-on-one, -on -one, I ask the person I'm doing a reading for to give me the name of a person in spirit that they would like to connect with. That's how I normally do it. And then I connect with that spirit person and ask them if they will come down and, and um, if they will communicate. And so I'm the the middleman so to speak and um normally because i see i uh, get a, a visual of what the person looks like and uh, starts to ex you know explain that so we get proof that i've got the right person there but obviously tonight this is a public reading i don't know who i'm reading for so i now have asked spirit to Bring someone forward or for someone to come forward who will watch this video. Someone with a message to please come forward who will watch this video. So I'm just going to tune in now and see if there is anyone who would like to come forward from the spirit world to connect with someone who's going to watch this video. Okay, I've got a gentleman with me here. He's uh, an older gentleman. Like I said, I get visuals. So I'm seeing a gentleman with round glasses, uh, slim build, or he's certainly got a slim face. Uh, and I can see, you know, he's, uh, there's no major double chins or anything. There's a little bit there, but that's just with age. Um. And he's got short hair that's fine. So it's, uh, there's no balding or anything like that. I can't see that. But there's short hair that's fine. And it's grey. He's clean shaven. I don't normally get names, but I'm going to ask if he will give me a name. Okay, I'm just going to say what I'm given. So to begin with, Paul came into my mind and then someone called Cyril. So I'm just going to give those two names. Um, I'm just going to connect back in. Okay, I'm feeling more Cyril than Paul. Maybe Paul is someone uh, that he knows or it could have been my own interpretation there coming in. But Cyril, I wouldn't normally think of a name Cyril. And when I say that, he actually is smiling. Um, he is a kind person, I'm feeling. He's, uh, he's not like a full-on out there getting into everything person. And he's not a really shy person. 
He's a person that will engage when asked and fairly strong within and just got on with life is, is what I'm picking up. Um, I'm not seeing that he became famous or anything like that. I can see that he had an interest in trains and liked gardening. He also would read the paper. He's showing me an image of himself reading the paper. He used to like to sit and read the paper. So I've just asked him if he will tell me how he passed. He's not showing me or telling me that, but he is saying it was through illness. So I'm now asking him if there is someone that he would like to connect with. All he's given me is, it's a Jan name, so I'm not sure if it's Janet or Janice. This could be a family member. It could be you directly. It could be someone that you both knew. I feel a strong sense of family. I'm not 100% sure if he had his own family, but he would have been an uncle, um, obviously a brother or... He may have had his own family. Uh, I'm, I'm, he's not showing me that at the moment but he has a strong sense of family. I'm just trying to suss out whether that is just the whole family as a unit or whether that is that he had his own family. or whether that is actually his, his, him classing as his siblings. I think actually it's the whole family he's actually got a sense of. And um, even if he didn't communicate on a regular basis with everyone, he still had that sense of belonging to that family and or his family and um, always thinking of everybody, even if it was from a distance. Okay, showing me now a library. So I'm guessing that he used to like to go to the library or worked in the library. I think he liked to go, I don't think he liked his books. He liked reading. So I'm just gonna ask now if he has a message or whoever it is he wanted to contact who will be watching this video. And sometimes these sessions can be, even though I'm connecting with one spirit, it can be a message for lots of people that are watching. So he's telling me that the spirit world are excited. Now, even though there's a lot going on on planet Earth at the moment, they are actually excited they are, they're saying embrace the changes, embrace the changes. Um, the old systems are falling away and they're excited about the new systems that are coming. I'm not talking about AI here. He's talking about the development of the humanity developing within themselves. So it's not about AI and everything going on there. He's sort of giving me the impression that humanity is evolving, which of course we know that everybody is. 
but they're exciting about excited about this involvement because it also affects them in the spirit world. So is there a personal message? I was just sending so much love. So much love. And he had a deep love for plants and gardening. And it's almost like he wants to encourage everybody to also get into gardening, growing your own food and and, and enjoying it that connection to the earth, how precious it is. While we're here in the physical, this is what he's saying. The precious connection to earth and all living things that you can feel and touch and getting your hands in the soil and, and everything. Because in the spirit world, even though they see and everything, they have not got that touch that we have in the physical. So he's saying to embrace that touch with the earth, but also with each other. How important it is to hug, to love one another. He's saying he wishes that he had known that when he was in his physical state, because he would have made a point of connecting with family and friends more than what he did. That companionship and connection and touch and embrace as in hugging and that love, that vibe that comes with that, how important it is to connect with like-minded soul and souls and your family connections. And pets, he's just so full of love now. It's absolutely beautiful. He found it hard to show that when he was in the physical, he's saying. But he feels it now. It's like his heart has burst open since he's been in the spirit world. And he's encouraging us all to live that way. Live while we're in the physical Live that way with an open heart and love for one another. It's a beautiful thing, he's saying. It is pure beauty. And it's almost like he's making me feel emotional now because I can see that, you know, he's emotional himself about this, how how strong he feels about it now. He, he feels he missed out when he was in the physical realm. And that he wished that he had expressed his feelings more than what he actually did. And how important it is for us and who he's talking to to don't hold back, express your feelings of love, compassion. Nurturing. He's saying there's enough of the negative that's going around in this earthly plane and it's important to express our feelings of love to one another and joy, and laughter. And he's excited for where humanity is heading. And in a way he's saying, I wish I was there now, but with remembrance of who I am. And he wishes us to remember who we are, who you are, his loving family. He wishes to see you to see that there is more than the humdrum of just this physical life that we get sucked into that repeated patterns of 
boredom and just living. He's saying to live it. Live it with all your might. With joy, with love in your heart, with excitement for the future. Because that's what they're feeling in the spirit world. That's what he's feeling for his family that are here. He's just sending so much love, so much encouragement. He's saying that when humanity worry and spend that energy doing that, it's such a waste of time. He's saying everything always works out okay and all right in the end. And sometimes when things happen in life, it is to make you change directions, to make you see that there is far more than just this monotonous, just ticking over living life. And to enjoy every moment because it's such a short space of time when you look at the whole collective of the soul's journey. And how important it is to keep that uplifted vibe, that joy, that love for life. Because not only will it create a higher vibration, a, a new upliftment in your life, it will help to the collective of humanity. So he's just sending so much love to you, whoever you are that is listening to this. He's aiming this at his family, but also at everyone who listens because he knows that the way I'm doing this, that it is the message is for everyone as well as his loved one. And he is sending so much love. And to his loved one, he is saying, look out for, I can see like a picture on a stand. He's either going to try and move it or it'll fall over or there's something about a picture. So he's, his heart is just so open. For you and he's sending so much love so i hope this helps i am going to thank him so much for coming through and thank you for such a beautiful beautiful message And I am going to now, I've set the intention that I will share this all over the place so that the person this is for will see it, hear it, be engaged in it. So if you feel that you have accepted this message for yourself, but also would like to share it for others, please do. So I'm just... Thanking everyone in the spirit world. Oh, such a beautiful, beautiful vibe. Oh, my goodness. I so love connecting with the spirit world. So much love that comes down for all of us. It's making me want to cry and get all emotional. Oh, okay. So sending so much love to you all. Take care and just share that love vibe. Just share that joy. Lots of love. Bye for now. Bye.